What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Today we brought back John and Ellie of Liquid House to show off their sleek stealth build powered by the new GeForce RTX 4080 Super. Well, welcome to GeForce Garage. Glad to finally meet you guys. Yeah, thanks for having us, man. So uh, what did you guys bring us today? Well, we had a really awesome opportunity to build in the new Corsair 2500 XKs. That features this beautiful wraparound glass front panel. And one of the best things about this case is it comes with optional panels. As you can see here, we chose the walnut finish to give it that more sophisticated living room type of vibe. Nice. So uh, what did you actually do to the case? We wanted obviously to match the vibe that the outside brings. We wanted to bring a lot of the walnut into the interior of the case. And one way we were able to do that is with EK's Lignum line of water cooling products. So we have EK's Magnitude block, which is made out of walnut. And then we've got some walnut fittings from them as well. We opted to use our own in-house BLK bracket design, which is basically just a modular way to bring about more complexity for a water cooling loop. So you've got a little bit of breakaway with different types of tubing. We've got soft EPDM tubing with black MDPCX sleeving, and then it transitions from the BLK over to the walnut fittings with EK, and then we got matte black acrylic tubing to match the aesthetic of the RTX 4080 Super. Being that we were painting the acrylic black, we figured you might as well paint the EK flow indicator as well. So you've got a full all matte black tubing setup throughout the entire build. We decided to try and find some matching walnut spacers to go in with the noise blocker E-loop fans that we love to use with our builds. And once it's all put together, it actually got a nice, subtle, sophisticated touch. And we're really happy with it. Yeah, I like it. And you decided to not go with any RGB either. No, no RGB this time, and that's okay. That being said, however, it is good to have a little bit of accent lighting, right? Mm -hmm. So we did one single white LED strip and it actually worked out really well for placement because the lighting cascades perfectly along the face of the 4080 Super and it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's almost like a museum piece. Absolutely. You got a spotlight, put it behind glass. Yeah, agreed. So we talked about the RTX 4080 Super that's in there, which is a perfect card for 4K gaming, Indeed. cranking everything up to the max. But what are the rest of the specs of the PC? Well, being that this is an MATX case, we had to go with the MATX board. And so we chose MSI's Pro B760M motherboard with 64 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance non-RGB DDR5 RAM and Corsair's MP600 NVMe 4 terabyte drive. We also paired the 4080 Super with the Intel 14th Gen i7 CPU, which is water-cooled with EK Waterblocks Lignum Walnut line, which really pairs nicely with the rest of the accents. And all of it is powered together with Corsair's 850 watt power supply using their sleeve cable kit. All right, so now we know the specs. It looks like a beast, but let's go install a couple of games and see how well it performs. Let's do it. Starting off over in Alan Wake 2 at 4K on the high preset with patch tracing and DLSS 3.5 on, we're seeing about 90 to 100 FPS on average. Heading on over to Portal with RTX at 4K, we get around 80 to 85 FPS. And lastly, over in Cyberpunk, again at 4K with Overdrive and DLSS 3.5 on, I saw it hanging around 70 to 80 FPS even in firefights. Definitely a beast of a rig. In addition to gaming, it's going to be fantastic for streaming, creative applications, and even new generative AI apps. All right, well, thanks guys for bringing in such an incredible build. I'm sure this is not going to be the last time we see you, so I really look forward to seeing what you guys bring in next. Thanks for having us. Thanks to our partners over at Corsair and EKWB for making this build possible. If you think you have a great idea for your own RTX 4080 Super build, head on over to r slash build a PC where we'll pick one of the community specs and build it for you. We'll have a link down below. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you for the next one.